Hello, Manchester United fans. It's Mick Ruby here from MUFC Realist TV, the voice of reasoning. The ball. And uh, we're speaking about Rude Finisteroy's first game in charge against Leicester City in the Cup. Of course, we're talking about Caribou Cup, and a lot of fans, including myself, are intrigued. How will Rude Finisteroy set up uh, Manchester United? Of course, it's a cup, and you should rotate in this cup and play kids. I mean, for crying out loud, we 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 know Ruud van Nistelrooy is a cloth cut from Sir Alex Ferguson, and Sir Alex used to always play youth and rotate. So I don't really particularly see any other option that we are more focused on the Europa League and the Premier League and this Carabao Cup. Yes, it's not really Ruud van Nistelrooy's trophy. It looks like more it's going to be. Um, Ruben Amarin that will take over after the weekend. So this important is a showcase from no other than Ruud van Nistelrooy. How will he line up? Do you think that he's going to do changes? Well, I certainly believe that we are playing at home. Les is not doing great. This is a perfect opportunity for Ruud to be Ruud to show and Ten Hag and everyone else that's no longer that this is my ball. I think he's going to go with the 4-3-3 formation. I don't think he's going to go with the pragmatic formation. According to my opinion, I've been seeing Scout and a little bit what Ruud van Nistelrooy does on the touchlines. And boy, are we going to see some actions. I certainly believe that the ones will start tomorrow will be the following. And a little bit with the window caution. So the first thing that pops in my mind is the left back situation, of course. We've been playing two right backs, and while we're having a Harry Amos that haven't seen any minutes under Eric Tenard. We saw Harry Amos in the preseason in the US Tour did fantastically well, but I believe that Harry Amos will be given a chance on the left back, as what we understand that Ruben Amarin likes to play with wing backs, technical wing backs. Will this be a debut for Harry Amos? I certainly believe so. So the back line itself will not be much of a chop and change, in my opinion. It will be Lissandra Martinez, it will be De Ligt and Dego Dolo to the right. Or maybe Dego will be given a rest and we see a Masarawi. But I go with this one because this is my hunch, this is my prediction. What will Rude do? Will he be rude to drop Dego Dolo that hasn't really been in form, rest him and play Masarawi instead? But one player that needs to give a little bit of a chance is the club signing. Manuel Ugarte, the player that we chased for the whole summer, almost two months, negotiated with PSG, and Ten Hag hardly used him. He played him against FC20, full 90 minutes. Ever since then, we haven't seen much about Manuel Ugarte. I think the Manuel Ugarte now, when Ten Hag is gone, will be played in the single pivot number six. Some arguments we say that Casemiro might start because, yes, he's got the experience, Maybe Ericsson will be given a rest. But there is one player in the academy that is knocking on the door, in my opinion, that should be given a chance here. And that is no other than Jack Fletcher. Jack Fletcher is such a tall specimen, such a good footballer, been knocking on the door to be selected. He's been on the bench, but Ten Hag hasn't really trusted him. Will Ruud van Nistelrooy pull in a Jack Fletcher? Will he play two youngsters here? I really, really would love to see that. But on the other hand, I think that Bruno will be given a rest as the captain. Christian Eriksen will play as the number 10. And if we go to the attacking line, Marcus Rashford will be undroppable. I think that the one that will be given a rest here is no other than Ganacho. And Rashford will be rightfully to the left, attacking, exploiting the wingbacks. And Ama Diallo, finally. And what a relief for Ama Diallo now that Eric Ten Hag is gone. Potentially, he will get a consistent minute as the proper, proper right back. I believe that Diallo will start, and I think that we will get a Rasmus Hoyland on top. This formation, I call it a 4-3-3. Maybe it can be a 4-3-3. But it depends on. I don't think that Ruud van Nistelrooy, historically speaking, plays with a 4 2 3 1. He will pretty much either go with a 4 3 3. But let me know what you think. Do you think that this is the right Ruud ball fun formation? If not, leave a comment below. Okay? So, what do we expect from Ruud ball? I mean, clear and obvious here, Ruud will 
take charge in only one game only. So Rude will probably have some trickery up his sleeves. But will he be here under Enzo Maresca? Oh, sorry, under not Enzo Maresca. Will he be here? under Ruben Amarin. I certainly believe he will be. What a combination those two would be. But will we get a fantastic attacking forward line here? What will be the score prediction? The way we can exploit Leicester, who is currently doing really, really bad in the league, is to attack them on the wings, 100%. We need to attack them on the wings because one thing they will do, they will set a pragmatic Park the bus and try to exploit to hit us on the break with the old aging Jamie Vardy still the fox in the box. Oh, I didn't even know that Jamie Vardy was playing, but he is. Now, in terms of the score prediction, guys, I think that it is a manager bounce. I think that we, the players, will go out and express themselves. I think that at the end of the day, it's going to be a clean sheet. Instead of Onana, I would love to see a Bayander in. There's lots of options we can go with. But for me, I would like to see Hariyama's giving a debut and in the midfield, Jack Fletcher as well, potentially. In terms of my score prediction... Hmm. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game for Man United. I think we're going to keep a clean sheet. We're going to isolate Jamie Vardy. He's not going to get any minutes. What they're looking at is to hit us on the break. I think at the end of the day, Man United will win similar to what we did against Barnsley with 7-0, but I even go 4-0 to Manchester United. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Who is your starting 11 and what will be your score prediction? Anyway, this has been Mick Ruby from MEFC Realist TV. We'll be back with the watch along tomorrow, or actually on the game day against Leicester. Glory, glory, Manchester United. Talk to you later. Peace. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching MEFC Realist TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on the socials.